Guys, ladies and gentlemen, we need to have a talk. I've seen a lot of people lately use this one particular rig that I just cannot approve of. This is one of the jankiest rigs I've ever seen and I see so many people using it. I don't want to offend anyone out there who, who is using this rig, um, but I want to offer you guys a different solution. Hey! The rig I'm talking about is this metal rig from Walmart or from whatever tackle shop you guys get them from. It's an all metal rig with clips to hold on the hooks and uh, steel leaders as the main line. There's no reason why I need to be using a metal leadered rig. There's just no reason. It's just completely unnecessary. You can build the same thing for much cheaper, much quicker. This metal arm that attaches to the main leader line is completely unnecessary. You can, you can achieve the same thing using your regular monofilament fishing line, which is like, I've got this whole roll for $3 and I can tie probably, probably a hundred of these rigs. It, it looks like it's pretty heavy duty, but like I see people clipping their hooks on with these swivels and it's just, do not do that. Please stop fishing like this. I beg you. So I think that this rig in general looks very unnatural. That's why I don't like it. It's unnatural and the way that the hooks are held on, um, it's unreliable. But I do truly feel you can do the same rig using monofilament line and that's exactly what I want to show you today. And when you tie it the way I'm telling you to tie it, it'll be a much more natural presentation and it's better for landing fish as well. So let's get to the build. First things first, we're going to need some kind of monofilament or fluorocarbon line. That's going to be your main line right there. I'm using 20 pound line right here. Next, we're going to use hooks. We're going to need some hooks. I'm using size two aughts right here. And these are bait holder hooks. You see these barbs? That's so the baits will stay on and not slide off the shank of the hook very easily. We're going to need a swivel because this keeps your line from tangling up. When you're fishing in moving water, your rig will be spinning around and you don't want your line to get tangled. That's what this helps prevent. And a sinker. I typically like to use pyramid sinkers with this rig, but it really depends on where you're fishing. If you were fishing in a place with rocky bottom, I would use more of a bank sinker like that or an inline sinker like that. But I'm gonna demonstrate with this pyramid. The final thing that I like to add are colorful beads to attract the fish. These are made of glass, but there's all sorts of plastic ones you can use as well for way cheaper different sizes, different colors, and these all serve a purpose to attract fish and to protect your knots. So let's get started on this build. First off, I'm going to try and replicate the same thing except made with monofilament line here. And all we're really going to do is tie two dropper loops here and here. Uh, these are very basic knots. If you don't know how to tie this, I teach how to tie all sorts of different knots on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. I've got blueprints for all sorts of different rigs. If you don't know how to tie these, you need to learn how to tie these first and foremost. Go to our site, check out our crash courses, learn these knots, and come back to this video. If you already know how to tie these knots, great. I'm going to show you how to tie the dropper loop knot very quickly. So first, make a circle like this. And then you're going to continue to twist these two lines together about eight times and then pull it through the middle just like that. And look at how they stack just like that. See how perfectly? Now we're going to lick it and gently pull to tighten. Now it's fully tightened. So we've got the first dropper loop. Now we're going to do one more dropper loop right here. And you can make these loops as long as you want or as short as you want. If you want them longer, make the circle bigger. If you want them shorter, make the circle smaller, just like that. I want them about two to three inches long, not too long, not too short. So now I'm going to attach this swivel to the top just like this. And I'm using the improved clinch knot here. And 
And if you don't know how to tie this, you can slow this video down and learn. Oh, look at how nicely that stacks up. This is one of my favorite knots to tie. It's really easy to do on the field. And it's really important to know how to do these knots on the field because otherwise you'll be wasting time learning how to tie it while the fish are biting. And that is the worst case scenario, y'all. And then now here's the bottom of the rig. We're just going to tie a surgeon's knot right here. Just like that. This is where the synchro will go, just like this. You see this? The same thing. And then the first dropper loop is right here. This is the fun part. This is where you can put a bead on here or choose not to put a bead on here. Um, I'm gonna put on a colorful, I'm gonna put on a little colorful red one right here. Just like that. Pinch it and push it through, just like that. And then, put the hook right through and pull. And there we have it, there's our first hook. Now our second one, let's do a, red and yellow one like this. Yeah? That looks good. Looks like a dragon ball. Looks kind of like a dragon ball. I don't know why it reminds me of that. Okay. We're gonna do the same thing. Now, you don't need beads. You don't need beads at all. I like putting them on there because they look nice and I think they attract fish. There we go. And then we're going to put this right through and pull. And there we have it. At the bottom, we're going to put on the sinker, whatever sinker you think is going to be best for your area. And we have just tied the same rig, except on monofilament line, without all the you know, the metal, unnatural looking metal on here. And it's going to be cheaper to tie it this way than to continue to buy this. You see the difference? This way you can adjust how long you want your rig, how short you want your rig, how long you want these arms, what color is right here, what hook size you want right here. Um, and you don't have to worry about this snapping because this will be a much better connection right here, then whatever the heck this thing is. This is fail to me. Fail. Shame. 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 Start learning to tie these rigs. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of headache, a lot of frustration. If I offended anybody with this rig, I'm sorry. This is just how I feel about it. I've kept my mouth quiet about it for long enough, but I see so many people using this. And the problem I see with that is people are going to be losing their fish. People are going to be giving fish piercings. People are going to be leaving hooks in fish's mouth. People are going to be leaving gear like this in the bottom of the ocean. And that's just not something I don't want to see. For those people who still think they should use this, comment below and let me know what, why are you all using this? What benefit do you see in using this minus the, the fact that you don't have to tie your own rig? I might be missing something. I could be completely wrong here, um, but in my opinion, I think this is a way better rig to use than this. And if I'm wrong, tell me what's up. Comment below. Otherwise, if anyone decides to tie this up, send us a message. Let us know how it worked out for you. If you have any questions, we are here to help. Some bait that goes perfectly with this rig is our bait right here, Scooty Bits. This is an entire bottom half of a squid. This is, these are the jigging tentacles. Now the tentacles will go great on the bottom of these hooks right here because they'll naturally float through the water looking and smelling like something naturally in the water. Um, it's great because you don't have to freeze it. It's great in the refrigerator. It's great bait. Our job here at Hey Skipper is to help as many people get on fish as possible. We just want you guys to get out and get fishing. We have the blueprints for this rig as well as many other rigs on our website, HeySkipperFishing.com. 
In fact, we've got a whole library full of ebooks and crash courses to teach you guys exactly how we do our fishing. Learn how to tie knots, learn how to tie different rigs, learn how to read the surf, all sorts of different knowledge on our website, hayskipperfishing.com. And I encourage you to go on there and learn as much as possible before you go out and fish. Here at Hay Skipper, we want to make it easy for people to learn how to fish. And I'm glad we could have this talk. I can finally get this off my chest. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Have a great one, and I'll see you next week.